Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to MLB The Show 18 where today we are going up against the Atlanta Braves for the first time in 2018. Last time out, we managed to score a win against Washington in what was a very interesting match. We were down by two and then managed to, well, managed to score seven runs in, well, ironically, the seventh inning, which made us, uh, well, gave us a five run lead and we ended up winning I think nine to four or nine to five in the end so yeah it was quite successful to say the least but we can't rest on that game we have to move on to this one and hopefully get another good result on the year we are nine um, nine and nine so we're on 500 literally on dead 500 so we definitely need to start improving that if we want to start a sort of mid-season run to the playoffs so we don't have to panic at the end of the season to uh, sort of win a, a lot of games straight in order to get into the playoffs. But anyway, that's enough talk. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to commentate over today's game. So we'll just run through the match. Uh, I've got it's a bit late here in the UK and I've got everyone in the house sleeping. So I'm going to uh, try and keep my voice down a bit, hopefully. Well, I don't know. If we score a homer, then uh, probably white might <laughs> wake the whole street up as per usual. But anyway, here we go. We'll jump straight into this game. Now we got Robert, Gis I, I believe it's pronounced Gis Giselman, <laughs> if I can pronounce it, or Giselman. I still don't really know how it's quite pronounced, but it's my first time playing as him on the mound, so it'll be interesting to see how he goes. I believe it's Giselman. Anyway, here we go. That's the starting lineup for the day, or for the night, Thursday night baseball. Alrighty, here we go. In Enjoy the match. I uh, will talk to you guys afterwards and hope we can get another win. That would be that would be nice. Georgia, we welcome you to baseball from SunTrust Park. Tonight it's the first of four between the New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves. These two should provide some big time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Scott Casimir, a Texas born left hander, gets the starting nod. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Coming to the plate now, Jose Reyes. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch of the ball game misses here and that's how we begin this four game weekend set. Now well, boys these Braves as they take the field here tonight they come in scuffling a bit of late just two and four over their last six games. Yeah Matty in this sport at this level you, you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic. You're not going to win every ball game. So they lost last game fine. Let's find a way to execute today and get on the winning side. Here's Juan Lagares now. He's got a base hit tonight. First pitch on its way. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. And they'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. And kids, this is why you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. Here's Juana Cespedes. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And the 
misses. On the ground is short. Could be two. The second for one. On to Freeman, and they turn the double play to end the inning. So it's a scoreless first inning for Scott Kazmir. Mets zero. Braves coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Robert Gesellman will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan, any thoughts? This guy's a pretty good pitcher, and I was looking through the stats, and one thing jumped out at me, a sub 1.20 whip coming into this start. That tells me a couple of things. One, he's not afraid to throw strikes, and two, when he does throw strikes, he throws quality, and he still gets people out. It'll be fun to watch this guy work in this one today. Digging in, Nick Markinkis. It'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. First delivery to him on the way. And that one just missed outside. Fellas, these Mets, as they enter play here tonight, they come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, Matty, dropping their last game. Now they find themselves at 500 again. They got to find a way to get on a hot streak. You cannot continue to go peaks and valleys throughout the course of this season and ride that 500 line all year. At some point, you're going to have to take seven out of 10, eight out of 10 get this going in the right direction. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack without question. In the bottom of the first, starting it off with a leadoff single gets everyone in your dugout going. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. Lifetime matchup numbers with Gesellman. He's got three base hits in 16 tries. Come on, Ray! Hit on the ground to third. Flores is there. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Hey, after that base knock right there, he's into double digits, Hero. That's a 10-game hitting streak. Oh, you talking about double digits, Dan. Now it's getting firm. We're seeing the batting average go up. We're seeing the homers go up. We're seeing the RBIs go up. Everything is moving north. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Markakis at second. Swanson on at first with nobody out. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. But that'll be off the right field wall. Markakis is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. He scores as it's now a 2 0 ball game. One team's dream inning is another team's nightmare, right? That's their third hit of this opening inning. This one a double. That's got to have the pitcher pretty upset out there and the manager wondering how long he's going to go on this one. Here's Ender Inciarte. Now a bunt attempt here. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Another first inning RBI opportunity for him here. Here's the 0-1. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Throw on to first, so the sacrifice is successful. And time now to take a look at how these Braves are lined up in this one. Hero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Well, Matty, you take a look at this lineup today going against a power arm on the other side. You could see a little bit of uh, ambush tactics employed by this offense in this lineup. Swinging the bat early, not wanting to go too deep in the count where he can rack up a ton of strikeouts. Be on the lookout for some early swings out of this lineup. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. A man at third with one away. Still a ball and two strikes. And 
that's going to be high two and two now. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You could see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. Full count, three and two. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. You know, Dero, I think Jerry Hillsdale is a very good hitter's umpire. Doesn't give much on the edges. He's going to make you put the ball over the plate. Oh, I love me some Jerry Hillsdale. You have to come over those 17 inches. He ain't giving you anything on the outside corner, and that's the way it should be. Now the payoff pitch home. Little dribbler up the first baseline. back up the middle right there is Reyes throw to first is in time but meanwhile the runner is in to score that grounder was hard hit and sometimes the runner at third will have to hold on a ball like that but he was off on contact and they opted to take the out at first instead stepping in now Lane Adams as he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half it's 0 and 1. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So they pick up three runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll move on to the second now at SunTrust Park. The Braves on top, three to nothing. Here's Jay Bruce now. And for him, you have to think a turnaround is coming. Clearly not going his way of late. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. Love jumping out to an early 3-0 lead, but this game is far from over. A lot of innings left to be played. He's going to have to continue to execute out on that mound. The 1-0. is an off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Now with the 2-0 count and the power at the plate, it could be fireworks time. This is the kind of count he makes his money in. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Rip down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. Oh, but the feed to the shortstop is off the mark. And he's safe. Not to minimize the hit here because it was a double all the way, but the wheels kind of came off defensively, and he's on third because of a bad throwing miscue. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Here's the first pitch to him. Line towards center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And not in time as the run scores. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send it. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. Next for the Mets, Wilmer Flores. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. First offering on its way. Aye. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. One out, nobody on. Give it to him, right? oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two.
hit hard on the ground towards second. Backhanded. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Batting seven, Catherine, Travis Darnell. Next up for New York, Travis Darnell. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A little bouncer. That winds up foul. Now here's a shot out to right center field. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Off the bat, it was pretty clear right away that that hit was going to get him at least two bases. Yeah, Matt, some people like to crow about homers and powering drives, but you have to like hits like this. A no doubt double the second it left his bat. Like you said, the only question was whether the. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double. Then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. The 1 0 delivery. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Gonzalez, a former Dodger, he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. Yeah, Maddie, there's not too many guys in their mid to late 30s that are going to get more than a one year deal, but this guy is a veteran presence in this clubhouse and on this roster. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. On now to the bottom of the second. Braves lead this one three to one. And the next in is Johan Camargo. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. No balls in one strike. Pitch on the way. Hit down the line at first. Gonzalez is up with it and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Okay, here's how the Mets are lining up defensively. And let's focus our attention on catcher Travis Darno. He's going to have to step up today and have a big game for these guys. Not known necessarily for his defensive acumen, more of a big pop guy on the offensive side. He has got to control this game. The next to bat for Atlanta, Chris Stewart, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Come on, Chris. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Left side. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one out base runner. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Maddie. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. Into the box, Scott Kazmir. Now a bunt attempt here. Reyes. On to first, not in time, as the umpire was right there to make the call. So a runner at first with two away, and standing in the powerful right fielder, Nick Markakis. First pitch coming, here it is. Swinging a soft liner, and that'll get down for a base hit. Kazmir rounds the corner and is headed home. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And he will beat the throw home. It's a 4-1 to one score now. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Runner in scoring position with Sukhan. Weak chopper up the line. 
And safe at first on a bang-bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. Dan, after this infield hit right here, this guy has to be so frustrated. He's been having a rough outing, and he's not discriminating the way he gives them up. No, he isn't. You know what he's going to do after this one? He's going to go to the movies and watch the movie about himself, the Rocky Horror Pitching Show, because this has been a nightmare. and a strike now to the Braves first baseman. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. Throw will go to Adrian at first and with it the side is retired. So coming to the plate, Robert Gesellman, 9 1 and 2 do up. Now a bunt attempt here. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Digging in for his second at bat, Jose Reyes. He singled his last time up. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Very weakly on the ground, but that one rolls foul. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Grounded up the first baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0 2 now. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Adams ranging back he gets there but he missed it but it's over his head and it hops the wall for a ground rule double you don't think fielding is important instead of a routine out you got a guy standing at second base after a two base error we'll see if the pitcher can pick him up. Here's Juan Lagares. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. The 1 0. And now the runner's trying for third. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to 1 and 1. Two and one to Juan Ligares. Ball even at two and two. Four to one's our score here in inning number three. Hit out towards second. And that's the second out. The left fielder, number 52, Cespedes. Digging in to try it again. Joanna Cespedes. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Come on, Brad. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sliced hard on the ground. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side. Striding in once again. Ender Inciarte. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Inciarte. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Hey, let's not sugarcoat it. He's had a rough couple innings. He's going to have to find a way, whether it be mechanically or mentally to be able to stay in this game. Ball, that's high. One strike pitch is a fastball high and that evens things at one. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Bruce coming on and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. The batter, number one. 
Ready for another chance. Ozzie Albies, 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. First offering on its way. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a late bunt attempt here, but he misses strike two. Here's the pitch. And a waste pitch there, one and two. Line drive to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. That's just an excellent job by the batter right there. Three pitches on the outer half of the zone. Didn't try and do too much. Kept the front hip in. Kept the front shoulder in. Played with the opposite side of the field. Quality A-B. Strike one to start the at-bat. Called strike 0 and 2. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. Albies stands at first with one out. Just inside. Not by much. It's 2 and 2. Well, that two seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off speed pitch. Count full, three balls and two strikes. The 3 2 pitch. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Heading out towards shallow right. Bruce on the run. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. Never mind. The ump says it was a trap. I know this guy isn't known for his hitting prowess, but that's a nice job right there. Getting a single on a 3-2 pitch in the middle of the zone. Grab your glove and flash some leather. Johan Camargo stands in as he looks at a called strike. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Bruce is there and he makes the catch for the out. Stepping into the box, Chris Stewart. Stewart. Here comes the first pitch. A ball of no strikes. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. Two down, runners at first and second. Two balls and two strikes now to the Braves catcher. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. The 2 2. It's a swinging bunt up the line. Scooped up. Throw to first is going to be in time, and the Braves' rally comes up. Leading off the inning, Jay Bruce, and they'll need him to get something going here. Jay Bruce. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. There's a strike at the knees, 0 1. Now the pitch. The bouncer to the left side. Camargo's got it. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Really tied him up on that one. Yeah, clearly didn't recognize where that was going to end up, Matt. If I were pitching, I might go right back in there. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One run on three hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Line toward right center and Cabrera is going to have himself a base hit. He doubled up on that one Danny back to back change ups nice job by the batter right there staying on that pitch. That's one of the things that this pitcher will do though Mark his changeup is so good he's not afraid to throw it back to back pitches in now Wilmer Flores 
He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's 0 for 1 thus far. There's a well hit ball out to right center field. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Finally, they show some signs of life. These guys have been swinging the bats like they're underwater or something. But a single and a double, and now they've got runners on second and third. We'll see if they can cash them in. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. The 1 0. Good sinker that time as he gets a piece and chops it foul at home plate. Here's the 1 1. Swing and a little tapper, but it gets foul. Cabrera, the runner at third. Flores is over at second with one down in the inning. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Settling in now, Adrian Gonzalez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Albies picks it up. On to first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Scott Casimir reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings. So it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. What did he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The 1 0 home. Hit hard towards center. And Markakis has got himself a base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. Around second is Markakis looking for three. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Wow, it looked like he was carrying a piano around the bases on that one. But somehow he makes it all the way around the third for a triple. Give credit where credit is due. Nobody in the park including me thought he had that in him two base hits both singles to this point a bouncer up the middle played on the backhand throw to first is in time but meanwhile the runner is in to score first pitch of the at bat Fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. The 1 0. Chopped weakly to the left. To his left, Flores. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. So one run. Todd Frazier will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 21, Todd Frazier. Don Kasmer pulls the string on a dandy changeup. It's nothing in one. Hit out towards second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. A hit in two tries so far. First pitch of the at bat. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. 
Dan, as a former pitcher, are you privy to this guy? I mean, he's been swinging a bat well. I know it's only April, but he's been using the entire field, staying line to line. That's what makes it so hard as a pitcher. When you can't go one way, when you pitch a guy in, he pulls it. When you throw it away, he hits it the other way. He's having that ability right now just to be able to get the barrel to it, and he's having a real strong beginning of this season. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, something you don't see very often. You got a guy that can run at first base. Normally you'll see a hitter try to take a pitch or two D row to give that guy a chance to steal a bag. You know, it's funny you say that, Dan, because coming up in those situations, you want to give the guy a chance, but you also realize that that guy wants to give his catcher a chance, so you're probably getting a piece of cheese. No hits to this point. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy, and Yoenis Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion of that Mets betting order. The 1 1. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Roll right back at him, and it hit him. Nice recovery play to get the second out, but we'll have to make sure he's okay on the mound. And now they'll hustle out there and attend to their pitcher, and that was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. But if there's one thing I know about this guy, he will not want to come out of this game. And from all indications, it looks like he's going to try to continue. Set and the 0 1 misses. That's ball one. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher. Is he going to try to pitch around me or is he going to come in the strike zone? And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. Now the 2 1 pitch. Rocket to third. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. He pulls into second safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Asdrubal Cabrera. And this might be the kind of A.B. that gets him out of that slump. Smart hitting here, just going with the pitch, using the whole field instead of trying to do too much. The results speak for themselves. With runners in scoring position this season, Cabrera is exactly a one for three hitter. That means a 333 batting average. His batting average right now certainly signifies that this guy is having a great year. And this is going to be off the wall now for Marquecas out there. And the lead will shrink to one as the run scores from second to make it 5-4 now. And he'll Three runs on four hits, no errors, and no one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Braves five and the Mets four. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a line drive. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. In CRT now for second. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Let's slow this one down and take another look. Great camera angle here. Looking straight down the left field line. You see him take that inside route to the ball. His hands stay back, and he goes oppo to find himself at second. He's one for two in this one. And he watches one miss outside. Two and oh now. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy right here, but working around a guy can come back to bite you at times. 3-0 and to him now. Lane Adams is on deck. And this one catches the inside corner for strike one. Hey, that 3-0 pitch might have been important for him right there. Regroup, get his mechanics back under him, and drive something down through the strike zone. Wouldn't throw the exact same pitch right here. Might want to cheat towards one of the corners. Now Digging in once again, Lane, Lane Adams. Adams. A hit in two tries for him so far. Here comes the first pitch. And that one just missed outside. 
Robles rarely finds himself in much trouble out of the bullpen at least in terms of giving up base hits he's proven to be a tough guy to barrel up advantage count 2 and 0 to the brave center fielder and he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss boy what a time to pull the string on him on 2 0 there's no way anyone's thinking change up so if you can locate it that's pretty much unhittable. Hit hard to the right. Foul. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Riding in, Johan Camargo. He flew out in his last at bat. Looking to keep this a one run game to pitch. A high fastball is in there. The 0 1 on its way. Fouled away. Inciarte on third with two out. Oh, well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye. One and two. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed, opposite bat. You could see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. And he fouls this one off. Men on third with two down. That's down low. It's ball four. And they're at the corners now with two away. Ready once again, Chris Stewart. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. Takes a knee high fastball. Now, some action in the Braves' bullpen as they'll stand up a right hander to get loose. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Five runs, ten hits, and two errors thus far for the Braves in the ballgame. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Wilmer Flores. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. You know, you love a guy who attacks the zone, but sometimes I think you could throw too many strikes. That could be the case right here. This offense is going to the plate, just pulling the trigger on everything. Hard hit ball to second. Albies scoops it up. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Ready once again, Travis Darno. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. And now pitch on the way. And good looking sinker on the inside corner. When you dive into the numbers in this start, it's hard to believe that this guy's pitching as poorly as he has. Over 70% of his first pitches have been for strikes, but a lot of those have been right down the middle, right into the hitting zone. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will wind up foul. Still 0 and 2. The next 0 2 is nope. a sinker that misses for a ball. Hit back toward the mound. Swanson picks it up. Throw to first gets him, so Kashmir's looking good to start the inning. Digging in to try it again. Adrian Gonzalez. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. I'm no hitting expert, but you can't take a swing that's a whole lot more uglier than that one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. So at the very least, that two out base hit will prevent the pitcher spot from leading off the next inning. 
Boy, that's a big base hit right there. The only problem now, d -Row, you have the pitcher's spot on deck. It'll be interesting to see how they play this one. Well, those guys on the bench, they know their pay grade. They've been getting loose since the fourth inning. I look for the manager to definitely make the move here for another bat. David Wright will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Curveball just misses, apparently, 1-0. As a hitter right here, you have to tell yourself, I can't get too big. Don't let the moment get away from me. A nice bullet in the gap gets the job done in this situation. The 1-0 pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. Wow, this is a perfect example of a wily veteran doing what needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, and just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it, he stays inside the ball and is able to smack it to the opposite field for a double. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Well, they miss with the first one, but then they decide, let's go ahead and put him aboard here. And they'll do just that as you see the signal from the dugout. Here's Juan Lagares, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Ball and a strike. One and one. In for strike two. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Gonna have to make something happen with two strikes now. From the belt, the pitch. Ball two. Two and two. Two two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Mets leave. Tyler Flowers is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Tyler Flowers. Now pitching for New York, number forty-four, AJ Rama. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. Head to head against A.J. Ramos. He's two for four. He also has one home run. And it's fouled away. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. Decided to go with a fastball there on 0 and 2, but what he's trying to do with that pitch is to expand the strike zone. Maybe you get a guy to offer at it, but at the very least, it helps set up your off-speed stuff. The 1 2 is a fastball down below the knees. The 2 2 is swung on and missed. He got him. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And the first pitch is chopped foul right at home plate. It's strike one. One out, nobody on. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. Ready with the one and one. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Come on, Nick. The one two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. 
Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. That's a Low for ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone-cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. Swung on, missed, 2-1. and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Pretty late with the swing there. As a pitcher, you have to recognize that and keep coming in with the hard stuff until he proves he can hit it. Here now the 2-2. Will not catch the zone, ball three. With the meat of the order due up next, you could probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two-hole hitter. Count still full, three and two. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. The next three, two. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. number five. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman, head to head against A.J. Ramos. He's 0 for 9. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. No balls and a strike to count. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. That's back to back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot. 0 and 2. Let's see if he can battle back in this A.B. The 0 2 home. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Brave strand one. They lead it five to four. Back here at SunTrust Park, seventh inning straight ahead with the Braves leading this one. But before we get it started, let's take a look there at the game summary to this point. Rex now Brothers is on to pitch from the bullpen number now to start inning number seven. Rex Brothers. Digging in once again, Joanna Cespedes. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up too high that time with the innings first pitch it's ball one and now it looks like the right hander Peter Moylan is up to throw in the Atlanta bullpen and this one's too far inside ball two don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate he's going to have to stay on the corners right here huge spot in this game do not miss over the heart and get beat Freeman moving to his left Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The right fielder, number 19. So one away in the and inning, and here's Juice. He's set, and the pitch. Missed with a slider. A fastball that just misses inside. Bases are empty, one man out. Outside, 3 and 0 now. No surprise here that they're working around this big boy. Certainly not going to let this guy tie the game up with something fat out over the heart of the plate. That one's in there, three and one. Come on, let's do it. 
The three and one pitch. He is in there for a full count now, three and two. One out, nobody on. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seven. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Here's Ender Inciarte. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Center fielder, Ender. He's ready. Here's the first offering to short. The throw pulls Gonzalez off the base, and I think that's going to be a throwing error. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. And that's in there. Base hit. Now you got to be frustrated if you're on the mound. You try and go elevated heater right there and blow some cheese by him, and he's able to scramble it and drive it the other way for a base hit. Nice job by the hitter to get the barrel to that base ball. And here's a fastball called for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the 0-1. One and one. He's set. Here comes the one one. Turned on down the line. But a foul ball. One and two now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Lays off the one two changeup and he's worked it back to two and two. The two two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. And the next in is Johan Camargo. As he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. Lagares arranged to his left and put it away. Two down. Riding in once again, Chris Stewart. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Here comes the first pitch. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. Now the 1 0 is outside for a ball. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. In Ciarte on second, Albies on at first with two down. Here's the 2 2. Struck him out. Two. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Peter Moylan will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Kurt Suzuki is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. The 2 0 on the way. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Yeah, and I can speak from experience, and I can tell you, on a night like this, it's tough to get a good grip on the ball. It's a little frigid out there, and he might have lost a little bit of feeling in his fingers. Never easy to make a good throw when that's the case. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. He's set. Here's the 0-1. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Hey, guys, that's just a nasty pitch right there. 
I can't tell you how many nightmares I've had about nasty sliders, and that's exactly what that was right there. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Oh, and forget the double play. It's under his glove. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, that's one of the, I guess, the advantages of hitting with that hole between first and second base, D-Row. First baseman has to hold that runner on. That leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. He took a look at the defense and saw where it was aligned and tried to beat him. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Sweet. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Adams coasts under it. One out. The pitcher number 40. AJ Ramos. Brandon Nimmo will come on to pinch Thank hit here in a big back. spot. Number nine. Brandon Nimmo. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside. 1-0. The 1-0 home misses ball two. Now the 2-0 home. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Moving under it, Adams makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now back to the top of the Mets order, digging in Jose Reyes. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Hard hit ball to second. Albies brings it in on the first, and the Mets are going to come. Jerry Blevins is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Stepping in for the Braves, Kurt Suzuki. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Strike three called on the fastball, one gone. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup, stepping in Nick Markakis. The head to head numbers against Jerry Blevins. He's got two hits in 20 at bats. He's gone down on strikes eight times as well. The 1 0. For the shortstop, Reyes fielded cleanly on the first, and Markakis has retired two away. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. The 1 0 he is swung on and missed. Strike one. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Yeah, and they set him up with that curveball on the pitch before, and that one, they just blew right by him. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Freddie Freeman who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Yeah, nobody on right there, Dan. Two outs. It's not every day you see a guy pick him up and put him down like him getting down to first base right there. Bought himself a base hit. Well, I'd say what if you there's a couple of things you can do. It doesn't take a lot of talent to hustle and doesn't take talent to be on time. And he hustled out of the box, turned what could have been a, gla a ground out to end the inning into an infield single. One ball and two strikes to count. Ready on one and two. And the changeup just missed the inside corner. The 2 2. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And Bruce will make the catch, and the inning is over. One left for Atlanta. They lead it 5 to 4.
Arotis Viscaino takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Here's Juan Lagares now. He's got a base hit tonight. Previously against Viscaino, he's hitless in three at bats. Tough situation. Down one here on the road, trying to score off one of the game's top closers. They've got the work cut out for him. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Here's Joanna Cespedes struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. First pitch coming. Here it is. First pitch fastball off the plate there and it's ball one. The 1 0 home is laid off for ball two. That was a non competitive pitch right there, and he finds himself behind 2 0 in this situation. He's going to have to locate something down the zone to get himself back in this count. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. The 2 1 is lined into right center. Base hit. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Well, you see that happen quite a bit at the big league level, Hero. Breaking ball up and away, hard slider up out of the zone, hit for a bullet for a base hit. Yeah, Dan, you try and look for it to pop out above the pitcher's hand. That Neil, usually running. signifies that Neil, it's going to be something breaking. That was actually a slider. So yeah. Now, meanwhile, the throw to second is there, and he is out trying to steal the base. The 0 1 pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. In line for the victory is Scott Casimir if our current score holds. And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. Now the two one is taken ball three. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate in a one run game. He doesn't want to walk you, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. Out of the stretch, here's his 3 1 home. And this is fouled at the plate. And now this crowd announced it around 33,000 come to their feet. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. The batter number 13, second baseman, and Trubo Cabrera. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Ready for another chance as Drubal Cabrera. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. In Ciarte's there, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is that they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get the win. This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4 the final tally. The Atlanta Braves hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Scott Casimir takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Robert Gesellman was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Arotis Vizcaino records the save, his eighth of the season. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. All righty, guys. Wow. What a shit show. I can't. I just can't believe this. This game was a comedy of errors. Look, three errors there on the night, and way more than that if you actually go back and look at it. But most, well, some of them are mine. Some of them were the game just screwing up. I just, wow, what we should not have lost this game. That was a really bad loss. We 
batted not too bad. I mean, we had gave up way too many opportunities there in the last four innings. But, yeah, wow. Just a comedy of errors. And to only lose by one after having 13 hits and only scoring four runs off of it. Um, yeah, well, that is just a absolute shit show. Anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. I know it was probably was one of the most embarrassing games I've had on MLB, but we'll move on to the next one next Tuesday and hopefully get a better result. Until next time, I'll catch you later.